And then that other one, sacrifice. Sacrifice. You know, there's a story in this country that's gone untold for far too long. Part of it is our fault because we don't tell it because it's our story. We're too busy letting CNN tell our story. See, we're too busy letting CNN and uh, ABC and, again, that blue-haired professor with that tackle box in his face at UNC. Tell, tell everybody, tell the world who the Republican Party is. And see, they love to talk about the mean tweets of Donald Trump. They love to talk about the shortcomings of George W. Bush. They love to talk about the incompetence or uh, perceived incompetence of Ronald Reagan in his latter years. They love to talk about that perceived switch where the conservative, uh, where the conservative party, where Republicans switch from being champions of uh, uh, believing in justice and freedom, switching over to being a bunch of yahoos who uh, fly Confederate flags and cannot stand blacks and gays and Jews. And they're bigots. Let me tell you something about the switch. The switch is a lie, folks. The, the switch is a lie. The Republican Party is the same today that it was when it was conceived. It is the champion of freedom and equality. And in that word, sacrifice, I would dare any Republican to find in the annals of the Democratic Party where they have sacrificed like we have. You go back to the era of Reconstruction. See, oftentimes in history, we gloss over Reconstruction. It's just a word in a book where we say, well, there was a Civil War, which was terrible and horrible, and guys in gray and blue ran at each other and shot each other. And the gray people said, Yahoo! And the blue people uh, flew the American flag. And it was horrible and yes, it was terrible. And then there was Reconstruction. And Reconstruction lasted for a little while and then everything was fine. No. No, it wasn't fine. During Reconstruction, during Reconstruction, Republicans proved who they were. They proved who they were. All across the South, there were Republicans who absolutely 100% gave their lives. And I'm not talking about their fortunes. I'm not talking about their homes. I'm not talking about their reputation. I'm not telling you they were called names. They gave their lives. They lie in their graves to this day because they stood up for the premise of freedom in this nation. Because they fought for what was right.